Hello pilots and flight sim enthusiasts, and welcome to the exciting world of desktop pilot. My name is Emily Green, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up our amazing parking brake in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Are you tired of that heart pounding moment when your plane starts rolling down the runway before you're ready? Well, fear no more. With desktop pilot's parking brake, your plane will never run away on the runway ever again. It's the ultimate safety tool. Step one is a moment of connection. Grab the Type-B end of your USB cable and plug it into the back of your device. Next, grab the other end and plug it into your USB hub. Lastly, to check that you're connected, look at the back for the red light indicating the device is on. Now it's time to launch Microsoft Flight Simulator and configure our device. Now go to Options. Under Options, select Controls Options. Then select your device, which is Parking Brake. Then type Brakes in the Search by Name bar, or change the filter to All, and find Brakes. Click on the drop-down menu, and scroll down to find Set Parking Brake. Apply one and click on Validate. Then scroll down and click Apply and Save or hit the F11 key to save your changes. That's it. You've now unlocked the power of the parking brake. Now it's time to test if it works. So let's load a new flight and let's select the Cessna Skyhawk G1000. Now let's locate our parking brake in our virtual cockpit. Here it is here. Now let's test it. Push to disengage. Pull to engage. Push to disengage. Pull to engage. Oh my god, this is so much fun. I could do this all day long. But we better move on. Now all that's left to do is attach it to the desk. Your parking brake comes with two Velcro sticky tapes and four panel nuts. Just remove the white strip, attach it to the bottom of the product, remove the other white strip, and attach it to your desk or cockpit setup. For more thrilling aviation products, visit desktoppilot.com. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.